Italian cuisine is 2,000 years in the making. It's been evolving for so long that it's finally, it's, it's perfect. <laughs> it is. You have to eat to survive, but also food can be very euphoric. Food that triggers memories of your childhood. That's why food is so special. The connection that food has to people. For me, I can't wait to cook when I'm here. I don't really go out to eat that much. I love to go to the markets and buy food and cook at the places I'm staying. The space that we have here is amazing. The decor is very Italian. You can tell that there's definite history here. The paintings, the artworks, the furniture. Immediately you're inspired. Dear Joe, welcome to Impronetta. Make yourself at home in Via di Capello and let the beautiful Florentine countryside inspire your latest recipe. My name is Joe Cicala and I'm the chef of Le Virtu and Brigantessa in South Philadelphia. My earliest memories of cooking, I would cook with my mother and my grandmother. We would go out every day to source ingredients together, but we would buy the fish right off the boat, and that was the foundation of what ended up being my style of Italian cooking. The philosophy is buy the best ingredients as close to your village as possible and let those ingredients shine in each dish. We don't create recipes or, or dishes. We try to bring food from Italy to the United States. That's why we come to the, this country as often as we do, is because we research when we're here. We try to find something that's uh, unique to that area, figure out how to make it, and then put it on our menu. So the dish that we're gonna create here is something that's kind of typical to the area, Central Italy. It's tagliatelle with porcini and uh, sausage. Italian food needs to have a sense of place. When you eat a plate of food from a particular region, it should be an immediate flashback to an area. Food has to transport you to that area, and that's why we travel to study the cuisine and to understand these products better. I can get used to life in Tuscany. It's this amazing mix of rusticity and refinement. I think this property is great for someone that likes to be secluded. You don't hear any traffic or the trash truck you hear at 6 a.m., but I would come here to escape that. This is a beautiful region, period. <laughs> There's a reason why it's so popular. Food is a communal thing. It's where you meet and you have a meal together and you see it throughout history. These days, it's really hard to turn everything off and meet at the table and enjoy a meal with the people that you love. But when that does happen, it turns into great memories. <laughs>